Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany. So in today's video, I'm sharing with you guys a new drop from Outre. If you're interested in seeing how I got this look together, then just keep on watching. Right, guys so you saw the intro and everything like that and hopefully i look real cute okay i'm gonna be reviewing a wig from outre's newest line which is called air tide so brand new to me this this is a packaging very nice good quality packaging here and this is a human hair blend so when the companies say human hair blend it's going to be a nicer fiber of synthetic hair so it might have some human hair in there but it's still going to be a synthetic wig so it's just gonna be a nicer fiber. And it's a 100% fully hand tied wig. And I have the style HHB Sleek Yaki 28 inch and I have the color DRST Maple Brown. I don't think I've tried this color before. Um, I recently tried a different color from, what did I try? I tried Outre's uh, Perfect Hairline wig, Keyshawn and DRST Hazelnut Mocha. So I thought this one sounded similar, so I wanted to try that. So packaging is top tier, okay? Very, very nice. So I have to read what they claim because this is all new to me as well. So this is 100% fully hand tied mesh and lace. So it's glueless and it has a pre-attached elastic band. Um, and it has vanishing HD lace, which is soft and thin with a masterful melt. So they're making some big claims here. And they have this wrapped up like a human hair wig here. First of all, let's take a look at this stock card. This is what she looks like on the stock card. On my right, on the far right, it's DRST2 Chocolate Caramel. In the middle, we have DRFFR, DRFF4 Golden Swirl, and then DRFF Ginger Brown. Um, and let's see what else it says. It says track free, doesn't have tracks, breathable, and it's lightweight inside of the card. Mesh cap for a cool, comfortable wear. It's a 13 by six lace parting area, breathable mesh cap, vanishing HD lace, Human hair blend, track free, lightweight, breathable mesh cap, thinner and more flexible for a seamless melt. Pre plucked hairline with smaller knots, okay. Contoured lace hairline, pre attached elastic band for a glueless install. I want to try to do a glueless install if it, you know, if I can do that. And then some more specialty colors on the back here. I mean, I guess it is sleek yakky. It does to me. To me, this does feel pretty silky, like just silky to me, but I think Sleek Yaki is a interesting way to describe a, a wig though, like a texture of a wig. Cause I feel like Yaki textures are already more sleek than kinky straight, but here's what the knots look like. They got the knots right, cause they are very hard to see, very small. And that's a gripe that a lot of people have about synthetic wigs. Their um, knots tend to be really, really dark and big. And these look very small. They did a good job with the knots. This is the inside of the cap here. No tracks at all. You have that 13 by six area of parting space. The cap is mesh. You have an elastic band. It's not adjustable. It's just a regular elastic band, a comb on the right side, a comb on the left, and a comb in the back with an adjustable strap. So let's try her on and see what size this cap is. I'll do it without the elastic band and then I'll do it with the elastic band. Um, It feels kind of snug on the head, like at most it's, no, uh, yeah, I'll say it's a medium cap. I'm not gonna say it's super small. Yeah, cause it does have some extra room in there. So I wanna say it's a medium cap. This is what the 28 inches looks like on me. But this color blend is very pretty. Outre always gets the colors right. Right. 
And this has versatility of styling because this is a 13 by six. So you could do a deep side part if you wanted to, or you could do a middle part. I like to do middle parts with straight wigs a lot. I just think that looks really, really good. But I wanna figure out like how I'm gonna wear this because this looks cute. But I might even hit it with a little bit of dry shampoo because I don't want any shine with mine. And this is a long wig, so I am experiencing a little bit of tangling already. It's 28 inches of a synthetic blend of hair. So I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of dry shampoo. Uh, this one is from OGX, but you can use any dry shampoo that you like. I'm not gonna use that much because it's not that shiny. And you'll get a better read on the wig when I do a sunlight test for you guys. But this is long, so it is gonna tangle. Now I'm gonna show you guys the hairline. Now this comes pre-plucked and it does look good already. It really does. Looks good already to me. But of course, I like to customize my wigs, okay? So even if you see a company saying they're, they have a pre-plucked hairline, I like my wigs to look a certain way, so I always go in and customize my wigs. But if you are a beginner and you don't wanna do that, you don't have to. Pin the hair back and twist the hairline up just a tad bit more. Cause it does look good. I just wanna break it up just a little bit more. The small knots, that is a win. Looks very good with the small knots. So let's go ahead and twist this up just a hair just to break up that hairline. And when I'm tweezing my hairlines, I pluck and skip, just so I don't like over tweeze in one area. And I tend to pull my hairlines down while I'm tweezing so I don't like accidentally tweeze my own. But this already looks pretty good. I just like to do a little extra. This is so pretty, I low key just wanna glue it down though. Well, we're gonna see if we can do it glueless. Okay, I'm gonna brush out the shed hair. I feel like this kind of wig, you wanna glue it down though, but I'm gonna see if that, if some foam will work for it. lace down for a glueless install I'm gonna use the Shea Moisture smooth and hold multi styling mousse and this was an accident right here that I got this um, Adrian was ordering some stuff and from like DoorDash and they didn't have my stuff the stuff I actually need um, so they got this but this actually might work so we're gonna see because it's supposed to have like a up to 24 hours hold with uh without flakes so this might be good for lace again i learned this technique from kyra sean and hopefully this works with this wig because this would be like it would make my life so much easier okay so to just have to worry about like making sure the rest of the wig is right oh this smells good
right guys so we are back and you have seen me apply this glueless and then you've seen me apply this with some even adhesive spray personally i feel like it's better when you glue it down with this particular wig so oh, you can wear pretty much any wig glueless but some wigs i feel like benefit from being glued down but i still wanted to show you that it's possible but i just feel like you have more versatility when you glue your wigs down especially a straight wig like this i don't know i just feel like it just benefited from being glued down with some adhesive spray i'm going to get to the pros and the cons i'm going to start off with the pros first first pro is this color i think this color is absolutely beautiful of course outre always gets color right and this particular color is the drst mabel brown i like it i like it a lot and as far as their claims they have a lot of claims i'm going to go through them and tell you guys how I think they, they did with uh, all the claims that they had. So they have the fully hand tied mesh uh, lace and mesh cap and everything. That's true, their cap is, is track free. It is breathable and lightweight. The issue I have is the vanishing HD lace. That is a very big claim to say vanishing lace or vanish lace. Because those of you who watch my channel, you guys know I always say that lace will never be skin and it's always gonna be a fabric. So it is very good lace because I did do a sunlight test for you guys and I think it passed, it looked pretty good outside. So in low lighting, you, you're gonna be able to see the lace a little bit, but this is good lace, but vanishing, which means like, oh, I can't see it. You're still gonna see it to some degree. And I that is with human hair wigs and synthetic wigs, even the nicest, human hair wig you're gonna see lace to some extent because it's fabric so i don't think it's like disappearing and you won't be able to see it at all but it still is good lace so that's what i have to say about the lace they knocked it out the park with the size of the knots on this wig that's something i think is really good on here so the structure of this wig is really nice they they constructed this wig um in a way that is very high quality the knots are very small so it's gonna look more natural than some of the other synthetic wigs that we are familiar with so they did a good job with the knots as well i'm gonna get into the cons and then some of these cons are just like critiques and stuff that i would want to see outre fix in the future now 28 inches of synthetic hair even though this is a human hair blend it's still synthetic. I would prefer that they come out with shorter wigs for their first releases of lines. It, it seems like a lot of companies, Outre included, they release a lot of, they do new collections and a lot of the new collections are just super long wigs. And I think for everyday use, 28 inches is just too much hair. I'm six feet tall and this is super long on me. So. I feel like this wig would have been even better if they would have did a baseline length of like 16 to 18 inches and make this more of an everyday length. But that is a preference. I realize that is a preference, but I just feel like it's more wearable on a daily basis for the masses instead of like, I don't know. I just feel like this would have been nicer at a shorter length. And because this is 28 inches of human hair blend hair, which is basically synthetic hair, it tangles up a lot. I didn't do a whole lot of styling to this wig. All I did was wear it as a middle part and a side part. I didn't put it in ponytails and all that kind of stuff. I'm getting a lot of tangling on the first day. So, you know, I feel like that would have been fixed if this was shorter. It doesn't have to be a bob like 10 inches, eight inches. I'm talking, you know, a nice 16 inch, you know, some something more wearable. I think that's the biggest con is that it tangles so badly. I wish I wish it was a little bit more yak and the density was just dialed up a little bit. More everyday lens. So overall, the actual construction of the wig and what they did with the knots and the breathable cap, the breathable cap and the pre-plucked hairline and everything, 
they actually nailed it with what they were doing with this collection. They do have some other styles, but they are long as well. So if you are interested in this wig, I'll have a direct link to where you can purchase it in the description box. Your thoughts on this wig? What do you, how do you feel about it after my review? Let me know if you're gonna pick it up or not. Shout out to Outre for sponsoring today's video and shout out to you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and make sure you are subscribed and your notifications are turned on because I have a lot of content coming for you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.